came up with the term Pascal, which stood for pattern scanning lasers. And, uh, and then we started talking about Pascal's triad. And we realized that in this case, Pascal's triad was um, faster treatments, um, better quality of burns, and less pain. And so that was the kind of the thing that we joked about in the early days uh, in terms of what was, you know, what di differentiated this treatment. Why was this? Uh, not just an interesting commercial innovation, but a really important medical advance in terms of patient care. The greatest improvements in the Pascal family over the years has been you know, yeah, more compact you know, mechanical designs, as well as increased performance, you know, particularly you know, wavelength. Um, you know, we're adding a 577 product, as well as software packages, innovative software packages such as PLT, Pattern Laser Trabecular Plasty, and this full benefit turned out to be very important and uh, immediately appreciated by patients and uh, and by physicians and this uh, really uh, became one of the major drivers of uh, uh, pattern scanning and shorter pulses photocoagulation. The scanning capabilities of Pascal uh, laser photocoagulation have, have allowed us to treat patients much more confidently. The tool itself uh, is amazing in that it has great applicability now and will have even more applicability in the future. It's really redefining a device that we've known for a long time. The Pascal laser is both efficient, which saves the physician time, and is more comfortable and convenient for the patient. I think the standard of care to treat with PRP has changed, and uh, certainly in my mind, and I think in the mind of many, many of the people that do this regularly, that speak on this and that write on it, uh, and that is that uh, using pattern scanning methods is, is the preferred way, and I believe it's standard of care.